Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Arch Linux comes out with a brand new ISO on the first of every month, and of course, is to be used for brand new installs and not for updating your system. And of course, with uh, Arch Linux, you can do a manual install on the TTY, or you can go into the TTY and use their automated installer that's been around for four years now. And every so often, they change the installer, they update it, Sometimes they're just taking bugs out of it or fixing bugs, and other times they're changing it. So on the April 1st ISO that came out the other day, uh, the automated installer called Arch Install, there was a change in it, and I'm going to take a look at it. So let's get to it. So right now I have two virtual machines opened up. I have a virtual machine open with the March 1st ISO for March Linux, and a virtual machine open up with the April 1st ISO from Arch Linux. So first I'm going to take a look at the March ISO. So the bottom one is from March and let's just open it up and make it full screen. So we're logged on to the March 1st ISO and I'm just going to make this font larger, set font here, dash. Let's just do uh, 122B. And I'm going to go right into Arch install and I'm not going to go through a full installation. I'm just going to show you something that changed in the new ISO. But first, I want to show you what the old one looked like. When I use the automated installer, if you've been following my channel, you know I always do a base install. I don't go into uh, profiles and pick a desktop environment with its associated apps. Let's just go back here. Um, I always go through a base install and then I boot into my brand new system and then I use my post install script from my GitLab repository to install my desktop environments, my window managers, and all my favorite apps and so forth. But I always go into um, additional packages and I click this on and it brings this up, right? And I always type in Vim because Vim is on the ISO when you're using it, but Vim is not automatically installed in your system when you do a base install. So I always put Vim in here and git so i can download my uh, gitlab repository with my favorite apps window managers and desktop environments and so forth and i always put terminus font in so i can make the font larger after i boot into my new base system so especially so on the videos <laughs> you can see what i'm doing now in my last two videos i added three more uh, apps i added uh, i added dos sf tools m tools and OS Prober. And the reason why I added these three apps is that uh, my last two videos were about dual booting with uh, Windows and Arch Linux. And you need these three apps in order for uh, the Grub menu to recognize uh, the Windows operation when you're booting into the system. So that you have the option of booting into Windows or Arch Linux. Okay, but like I said, I always Put these three in, Vim, Git, and Terminus font. And this part's easy to use. Just hit enter, and you can see on the far right, these are my three additional packages, Vim, Git, Terminus font. So now I'm going to close this, and I'm going to go into the April 1st ISO. So now I'm going to minimize this, and I'm going to go into this ISO here. So let's make that full screen, and let's do set font here, dash 122B. Okay, and let's go into Arch install. And let's go down to additional packages. Let's hit enter. So here, look at what it brings up. Now at first glance, you might think this is good. You can scan down, use your uh, space bar to select a package you want. But this is terrible. In here, there's no search function. So like I said, I always put um, Vim, Git, and Terminus font. Well, Vim would be down in the Vs, right? So let's scan down. Look how far we're scanning down. And we're still in the A's. Look at this. How am I going to get down to Vim? Look at the, I'm still in the A's. So now, if you look up in the top left-hand corner, it says press Control H for help. Let's do Control H. And we have a help menu here. And it tells you, you can use, to scroll up and down, you can use your page up or your page down. But there's nowhere in here where I can select a search. Like, there's no way for me to do a search. So to get out of here, I'm going to escape and page up and page down. Look what page up and page down does. So there's no way for me to get down to Vim. Oh, I can hit end 
If I hit the end button, it takes me down to the Zeds. Page up doesn't work, and there's no way for me to search for a package. So really what I want to say is, this is terrible. <laughs> I don't know why they designed it like this. This is absolutely terrible. I hope that this is just a bug and they're going to fix it. And Or I hope that the developer of Arch Install realize that this is no good if they're going to have it like this there should be a way to search up for a package let's try doing it this way let's do a slash vim oh how about that i didn't know you could do that so there's vim let's hit the uh space bar and what happened oh i got vim in there now <laughs> now how will i take out that one i didn't realize you could do that so let's let's unclick it and let's do a slash get okay and now i can move it down Okay, now I see how it works. Now I have get in there. Let's hit it again. And let's do slash terminus font. And let's hit my space bar. Oh, that's how it works. Okay, well, after all, maybe it's not so bad. Because <laughs> when I was playing with it before off camera, I didn't realize that you could do use the Vim key to do a forward slash and then do a search. And you think they would have that in the instructions. Now let's take a look at the instructions again. Control H. Now I don't see here where it tells you that if you do the forward slash, which is a Vim command, by the way. Now let's see if we can add um, those other three packages in that I use for uh, my dual boot systems. Let's hit enter. Let's do forward slash OS Probert. There it is. Okay, well, maybe it's not so bad after all. How come it's not, um, okay, now we have it. I think this is harder to use. Let's do, um, let's hit enter. And let's do, oh, I know I'm not doing this right. Let's do control H. There was for multiple. Select on multi-select is space and tab. Okay, so let's hit, um, forward slash. Let's go to, um, DOS file system tools, let's space bar it, and let's tab it. Nothing happens. Okay, I got DOS F tools there. Let's do enter space bar. No, I don't want to do that. Not sure how that works. Let's do uh, M tools. Hmm. Okay, so I got, okay, so I have my uh, three things in there. It's not as bad as I thought, but it's not great either. And that's it. In this video, I took a quick look at the new Arch Linux installer called Arch Install. And it's really not new. They just changed it. And they changed one thing as far as I can see. And they changed the thing where you can add extra packages. And really, I think the old one is a lot better and a lot easier to use. And even though the new one is not as bad as I thought it was, it's kind of clunky. It's kind of hard to use. I don't think it's that good. And I hope that they improve on it. Let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mensch.